This is a quick lesson on Neil Young's song, Everybody Knows This Is Nowhere. It's from his album of the same name. And it's uh, not a very difficult song. I'll first show you the chord progression, then I'll show you some of the lead bits. Okay, so I'll play it through first. So the chords are G to a C, back to a G, and do a C. That's just all G, C, G, C, G, C. Uh, then the third line he, uh, <coughs> uh, or when he gets to the everybody seems to wonder part, he goes to a C, to a G, E minor 7. down here so C C with a B bass to an A minor 7 so the way I do that is C chord to the C with a B I um, mute the fourth string A minor 7 everybody knows this is nowhere so I'll just play that part to the uh, chorus with the la 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 part it's a G to a G major 7 and there you're counting you're uh, climbing down on the treble note okay so you go G G major 7 and um, the way I fret that is I mute the, uh, so you're playing the G on the 6th string, I mute the 5th string, and um, play the F sharp here, on, which is the major 7th of the chord, on the 1st string. You want to make sure that F sharp rings out, because that's the climb down. I don't think I let it ring out when I was doing the playthrough, but you get the idea. To a C. You could play this. Uh, <clears throat> you could play this different places, right? You could capo on the second fret and move all your um, just using the cage system. Move your chords up. So uh, you could play the G like this, and then a C like that, or like that. The advantage of using a capo on the second fret would be that it would allow you to. Um, play that open B, that B string open when you're doing that climb down here. You could uh, climb down. So it would be fretted here, open here. Uh, and then you'd have to come up here for the A minor set. You could also, the other advantage of doing it that way is that when you do that G to the G major 7, you could just uh, Pivot, do it, do it. What they call a pivot bar, right? In classical guitar, so you could um, do your G like this, and then just pivot that finger up, and then you'd be playing this string open. It, I'll, I'll show you what I mean down here. So if you had, you're doing that, but if you had a capo on two, you'd be going from a G to a G major seven. Okay, so this is on the, um, and again, there's different places you can play this, but I, I, I think he actually is playing it up here because you get that twangy sound from the unwound string. So, third 
third string, second fret, you're bending up to a B. Okay, release and, and uh, pull up. Okay, and here this is um, an E played a fourth string, second fret. Um, the uh, the lead guitar <clears throat> or the uh, lead accompaniment is an overdriven guitar, and through a lot of it, you're playing the same chords, but he's palm muting and arpeggiating the uh, first three strings, or the, I guess the fourth, fifth, and sixth strings. Again, you can play this up here, like that. But I, again, I think he's—you can hear those open strings chiming away. So I think uh, this is the correct first string, third fret. You're pulling off from a G to an E. Second string, you're pulling off from a D to a B. Third string, you're going <clears throat> uh, from an A, second fret, sliding up to a. To a B. Second to fourth fret. Okay. And there's a lot of licks that are very similar to that, um, variations on that in around. I'm not going to do them all. It's um, there's just there's so many, and you can kind of play around with it anyway and make it your own. Um, there is one kind of an interesting part up here. Um, yeah, that's it. There we go. Okay, so I think what he's doing here is he's up on the second and uh, uh, first and second strings, twelfth fret. Okay. Play, stop that. Play, play a double stop, and uh, although I'm well, uh, I find it really helpful to uh, fret it with two fingers, and because uh, you're going to play them together, and then you're going to bend the bend the second string up from this B to a C. on a G and that corresponds with him playing a C to a G okay, and that's a little part that passes for a solo so you're bending up again uh, third string second fret bending up a whole tone Again, it's a variation on the uh, on the opening lick, and that's uh, I think that's pretty much the song. <clears throat> As I say, it's really fun to play though because you can. The structure is quite simple, so it's it's actually kind of fun to play along and and test out some of those licks and, and make some variations on it. So I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> 